Hello. So I'm going to be speaking on my uh, introduction speech and what I decided to write about. So when we look at a celebrity and we see that they're highly successful platform, um, is huge and they're not using that huge platform for good real life things that are happening it can be pretty challenging for viewers like us to sit there and think why are they not trying to get a hold of this major issue that's happening in the u.s every day so uh, people like kim kardashian west for example she decided to go back and be a lawyer and she decided to work on the reform issue where people are wrongly convicted and they're sitting on death row awaiting uh, to be executed and they're wrongly convicted they were just put in as a death row inmate and never looked at again and that was a huge issue that she decided I need to take action and another celebrity that is just doing absolutely amazing that I decided to talk about um, in my introduction speech is Ashton Kutcher so Ashton Kutcher ended up becoming very popular after his hit show that 70s show where he starred as Michael Kelso which is one of the main characters in the show just a little bit about Ashton Kutcher and then we'll go ahead and get into my introduction speech and what I would like you guys to know. So Ashton Kutcher grew up in a pretty rural town called uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and he pretty much has been there his whole life and came from a pretty poor family. Uh, but he did end up going on to Iowa University where he was a biochemical engineer major, which is huge. And you have to be so intelligent to do something like that. <laughs> uh, but he ended up going there. And since his family really didn't have a lot of money, he ended up selling blood for money, his own blood for money uh, to try to get some money in his pocket to attend this a major university. Uh, he ended up being known in that town very well and a local scout ended up seeing him and reaching out to him and at first he got a few calls but they never ended up following through until he hit that 70s show and then his career just skyrocketed. When he started his career, he ended up meeting Mindy Moore who is also a very famous actress. Uh, she's very known in the famous acting world very very awesome lady uh so she and ashton kutcher did end up getting married and they ended up in 2013 coming up with a nonprofit organization called thorn and this organization is to help law enforcement officers develop new technology tendencies to help them locate victims of sex trafficking women children and men that are going missing every single day these technology tendencies that they're coming out with are trying so hard to make it to where law enforcement officers will have such an easier time finding these trafficked individuals and they're doing all that they can and just a little bit about nonprofit organizations is you don't you're not guaranteed um, income to come into that company you have to work hard for people to know that name in order to get donations to help with that funding for that technology that they are needing so that being said, it's clear that having a pretty popular platform like these two actor and actresses have is you are able to raise more funding for nonprofit organizations like this in order to get things started. And right now their main focus and why they put their career to a halt right now is because their main focus is to try and get as much as they can um, funding wise to help with these technology tendencies that they're really trying so hard to work on to help these law enforcement officers and it's absolutely terrifying uh, how many you know sex traffickers we have out here right now that are taking so many young children and women and men too uh, and so that being said you know it's very important to have um, you know the funding coming in for these nonprofit organizations and I'm so grateful that they put it that way because people are able to contribute to them and right now they are doing absolutely phenomenal they have raised over 27 million dollars alone for this thorn campaign and that is tremendous so that being said, um, I've been doing so much research myself regarding this whole topic and, you know, who's contributed to this nonprofit organization and uh, famous people have a lot of famous people have YouTube sensations have like Kendall Ray. Uh, she decides to do different things like she partners with a girl on Etsy who hand makes candles um, kind of like Bath and Body Works and she a percentage goes to the thorn campaign and right now she's raised over five million dollars for thorn campaign she also has her viewers who watch her youtube videos um design a t-shirt and then she sells the t-shirt and then half of those proceeds go to thorn campaign as well so there are you know regular people like me and you that are contributing to this you know thorn campaign which is very huge right now there's so many young people that are missing and you know women and stuff like that and it's absolutely traumatizing to have to go through something like that so with um you know new technology tendencies we should get some 
wear. And, you know, that being said, um, I've done a lot of research myself and I'm just so curious to know, you know, how the pandemic has really infected, you know, people and their safety. And, you know, um, I was researching a lot and, you know, writer Brian Hansford states that millions of women and children and even men worldwide are out of school and out of work. And without those social supports in this continuing COVID-19 pandemic, leaving them, it's actually leaving them at a greater risk for human sex trafficking. If you think about it, school, you know, it's pretty safe. Um, You know, we're in a gated community work. We have people surrounded us that, you know, we trust. And a lot of us since COVID-19 have been shopping late going shopping whether it's you know at eight o'clock at night and it's getting dark out or traveling a lot um that can definitely lead to a huge human trafficking crisis and cases are rising like crazy since the covid pandemic and so that being said you know it really brings it back to this nonprofit organization thorn that demi moore and ashton kutcher are working on is such an important asset to the world today and we all really can use this justice for all of the women and men and children that are sex trafficked daily and you know speaking on you know behalf of everyone who's currently going through that or has gone through that it's a terrifying thing to ever go through in your life and i'm sure that a lot of these individuals who are going through it or have gone through it are so grateful that you know a famous person is using their platform for really good to help us to get you know to to develop an end for what we're going through and that being said you know Um, bringing back to funding it's just so important to keep those funds flowing in for them to develop this technology that is much needed right now and it's very huge and that being said uh you know since we are still in this COVID-19 pandemic situation right now I think that it is even more important and even more of a drive to get this funding going to help them with these new technology tendencies and get these law enforcement officers equipped with it so we could start, you know, getting these sex traffickers and putting them away and getting these victims home for good. And so, um, you know, one thing that both Moore and Kutcher spoke on was one of the major sex trafficking tactics is the dark web. And those of you guys who don't know what the dark web is, it's basically where anyone can go onto the web um, and sell illegal drugs, weapons such as guns and even humans like women and children and a lot of women and children are being sex trafficked where they're getting photos taken of them and then there's a price tag on them and that's something that both Kutcher and Moore spoke on and were very disgusted at what they have found more and Kutcher are using their platform for good and they really are trying to put an end to this sex trafficking situation that's going on worldwide in the unit and in the United States and out of the United States and it's very important that we keep the name alive and we keep mentioning it as much as we can the more donations that come in the more funding for technology they will have which means that all 51 states can develop or get these technology tendencies if we actually keep contributing to this company and it's absolutely phenomenal what they're doing and putting their own careers to a halt to focus on this i just have so much respect for so i hope you guys learned something regarding this whole situation if you didn't know about the thorn campaign um, i highly recommend looking into it i think that what they are doing is absolutely phenomenal and i hope that you learned something and thanks so much for listening to my little introduction speech